Hello computational thinking students. In this tutorial, we will look at procedures similar to what the professors have done in lecture 3. In lecture 3, you must have seen the procedure where they picked up the number of girls from Chennai, which is filtering on two variables, which is one is gender and the other is city. And this was done in the mark sheet data. We will do something very similar now in the paragraph words data. Let us try to pick out the number of adjectives which have more than four letters. So five or above. So let's again iterate. Let's go card by card. This is our first card. And before we start, we should declare our variable which is large adjectives count. And this large adjectives count is initialized to 0. We will increment it every time we come across an adjective whose letter count is greater than 4. That is 5 or above. So, card number 1, not an adjective. Not an adjective. This is an adjective, but long is a 4 letter word. So, we shall not increment our variable. Thin is also a four letter adjective, so we are not incrementing our variable. Not an adjective, 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 and this is a pronoun, noun, adjective, and this is eight letters. So we finally come across a card which has an adjective greater than four letters, so we increment our variable by one. Moving on, article, noun, adjective, six letters. So we increment again, which makes the count two. Moving on, one more six letter adjective. So increment again, we have the count to be three. Moving on, article, noun, preposition, noun, adverb, article, preposition, verb, pronoun, noun, Conjunction, preposition, noun, article, noun, verb, preposition, article, preposition, adjective, nine letters. So now we increment again. We have four large adjectives. So the count is now four. Moving on, preposition, verb, preposition, adjective, and nine letters again. So we increment one more time and now we have our variable equal to five. Going further, verb, pronoun, noun, conjunction, noun, preposition, noun, noun, article, preposition, adjective, and 10 letters. So we increment again. We are now at six. Adverb, noun, verb, pronoun, noun, pronoun, adjective 9. So increment again, we are at 7. Verb, noun, noun, verb, noun, pronoun, and the number of cards is exhausted. We are at our last card. So we have found that there are 7 large adjectives, that is with number of letters greater than 4. Now, in lecture 3, another interesting problem that has been taken up for multiple filters was the number of boys and girls born in the first half of the year. So, number of boys born in the first half of the year and number of girls born in the first half of the year. So, we will do something similar to that with the shopping bill data now what we will do is we will calculate the amount spent by one particular customer in each individual store so let us look at a customer called srivatsan so how much did srivatsan spend in sv stores in big bazaar and in sun general this is what we will try to find out. So let's 
start from the first card again we initialize three variables now so that would be Srivatsan SV, Srivatsan BB and Srivatsan Sun. So these three variables indicate the sum amount spent by Srivatsan in that particular store. We initialize to zero. This first card it is Akshaya, it's not Srivatsan. So we just move on. Abhinav, Ahmad, Ahmad again, Srivatsan. So, Srivatsan in SV store spent 567 rupees. So, let's increment that particular variable with 567. And then if we go further, we have Sudeep, Suresh, Akshaya, Vignesh, Vignesh, Mohit, Radha and Srivatsan again in SV stores again. So, we add 276 to 567 and we have 843 rupees spent by Sri Watson on SV stores so far. Going forward, Advet, Julia, Ahmad, Rajesh, Neeraja, Sri Watson again but now in Sun General. In Sun General, Sri Watson spent 340. So now we will increase this variable to 340 from 0. And then we go forward and there's one more sun general and we had 340 earlier. Now we add 354 to this variable. So we will have 694 rupees spent by Sri Watson in sun general. This is Advait, Aparna, George, Abhinav, Ahmad, Akshaya, Advait again. Abhina, Akhil, Nirja. And so, Srivatsan has not made any purchases in Big Bazaar. So, the Big Bazaar count stays, the sum stays 0. And in Sun General, he spent 694 rupees. And in SV Store, he spent 843 rupees. For our last task in this tutorial, we will do something similar to what you have seen in the lecture. In the lecture, you have seen the case where the average mathematics marks of boys and girls were calculated in one iteration by using multiple variables. So, let us do something similar with the word data here. So, what we will do in this task for with this data is we could compare the size of the average preposition with the average pronoun. Both prepositions and pronouns tend to be small words. So in this paragraph, let us try to find out the average length of prepositions and average length of pronouns. So we could compare that. And for doing this, what we do is we first establish four variables. One would be preposition count, the other would be pronoun count and then we also set up two variables which is total preposition length where we just sum the length of every preposition that we come across and likewise we have a total pronoun length which will give us the sum of all the letters of the pronouns we encounter till that step and at the end of the iterations what we do we divide the total preposition length by the preposition count and we divide the total pronoun length by the pronoun count. This way we get the averages we are looking for. So, let's start with our first card. Here this is a noun so we are not interested and this is a noun again not interested. Adjective, adjective and we have a pronoun. So, we increment pronoun by 1 and we sum 3 to 0. So, the total pronoun length so far is 3. Now, we have a preposition. We increment preposition by 1 and we add 4 to the total preposition length, making it 4. And now, we have noun, conjunction, noun again, noun and we have a pronoun of length 3. 
So we have two pronouns with a total length of six. A noun again, adjective, article, noun, uh, adjective, adjective, article, noun, preposition. So we add two to our preposition length and we increment preposition by one. And then we go further, noun, adverb, article, preposition, again, add two to preposition length again, total preposition length and increment preposition by one. Verb, pronoun. So we are now incrementing pronoun by one and adding two to the total pronoun length. And now we have noun again, conjunction, preposition of two again, increment preposition by preposition count by one and total preposition length is increased by two. Noun, article, noun, verb, preposition. So this is one more two. So we have right now five prepositions and a total length of 12. Going forward, article, preposition. So we have six prepositions with a total length of 17. Adjective, preposition. So seven prepositions with a total length of 21. Verb, preposition again. So eight prepositions with a total length of 23. Adjective, verb, pronoun. So we are now incrementing pronoun by one, pronoun count by one, and we are adding two to the total pronoun length. And noun, conjunction, noun, preposition again. So we have one more preposition and we are increasing the preposition length by two. And noun, and noun, article, preposition. We now have 10 prepositions with a total length of 27. Adjective, adverb, noun, verb, pronoun. So now we, we now have five pronouns with total letter count of 12. Noun, pronoun. So that makes it six pronouns with total length of 15. Adjective, verb, noun, noun, verb, noun, pronoun. So that is seven pronouns with total length of 17. And this is also the last card. So we see that the average preposition length is 27 by 10 gives us 2.7 whereas the average pronoun length is 17 by 7 which gives us roughly 2.43 so in this paragraph the average preposition length is greater than just slightly greater than the average pronoun length thank you